in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Bless you. Because you are worthy, you deserve all the praise. Let the name of the Lord alone be praised. From everlasting to everlasting, we declare that you are God, worthy of all our praise. Please keep standing everyone, we're going to pray but um, um, I'll just step back and allow Ejimi perform a function. Many of you may not know but tomorrow exactly Koinonia will be 6, 6, 11 of March. Hallelujah. Now, we're not doing any celebrations, we're not, the time to celebrate will come. But Ejimi will just say a word, charge our hearts and we'll just lift up a prayer of gratitude. The worship team very sensitive people all we have to do is to just say thank you there's no time for any ceremony the time will come praise the lord as you mean you are good and your mercy is forever Exodus chapter 24, verse 15, 16, and 17. It's been six amazing years of God's faithfulness. I don't know how about you, but I'm excited that I have been a part of what God is doing in Koinonia. If you are, please, I need you to put those hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen very quickly verse 15 and Moses went up into the mount and a cloud covered the mount and the glory of the Lord abode upon Mount Sinai and the cloud covered it six days I want us to just put koinonia in that and the glory of the Lord abode upon Mount upon koinonia and the cloud covered it six years let's say that together and the glory of the Lord abode upon Koinonia, and the cloud covered it six years. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm a testimony to the cloud of the great and the mighty things God has done in this place. Through his servant, Apostle Joshua Selman, and through every single person that has keyed into the vision of this ministry. And I want you to see what happened next. It says... And the seventh day he called unto Moses out of the midst of the cloud. And the sight of the glory of the Lord was like dew.
devouring fire. The Bible lets us know that we are a city that has been set on a hill. We are going to lift up our, our voice and thank God that in the last six years there has been glory in this house. It would have been a pitiful thing if there had been no glory. I want you to look at your life and then begin to say, Lord, thank you. Open your mouth and thank God. Year one, year two, year three, year four, year five, and now the sixth year. Say, Lord, we thank you. Look at every area of your life. The glory of God has been revealed in you, to you, through you. Give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. Lord, we're saying thank you. We're saying thank you. We're saying thank you. For many of you, you started out not knowing where God will lead you. See where you are today. See what God has done today. Look at what God has done. All those following us online, give God praise. Give God praise for the glory, undeniable glory. Undeniable glory. Undeniable glory. Undeniable glory. Lord, we say thank you. We are truly grateful. Repato Sabariakata Entemeriashata for souls saved, for destinies transformed, for lives touched, bodies healed. Thank you. Repo Shabariakate Rendemeriashata Balakato Shataya. We give you praise. We give you praise, Father. We are so grateful. We are so grateful. Thank him. Thank him. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. And Heavenly Father, as a family of faith, we want to say a very big thank you. For thus far you have led us. We thank you for the great and the mighty things that have happened in this glorious house by means of this symbolic and prophetic and apostolic movement called koinonia we are grateful to you lord for the gift of apostle joshua selman to this body we say thank you we say thank you we say thank you we say thank you for lives transformed for souls saved for destinies unlocked for purpose revealed for miracles signs wonders we say thank you jesus and as we enter into this new year it's a new season for us you have called that this is a season of triumph on the left on the right above and beneath we triumph all round in the name of jesus father we thank you the path of the just is, a, is as a shining light it shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day lord we say that this is just the beginning we give you all the praise we give you all the glory we give you all the praise in jesus name we pray if you believe that the best is yet to come i need you to shout jesus let's slap those hands together god bless you please be seated good evening everyone spiritual intelligence part two Just pray in one minute and say, Lord, visit me, speak to me tonight in the name of Jesus. Go ahead. Pray. Speak to me, oh God. My destiny depends on it. Speak to me. Oh God. You are my God, and I will ever praise you. Oh God, you are my God, and I will ever serve you. Seek you. 
walk in your ways For step by step you lead me And I will follow you all of my days Hey, oh God, you are with a promise that no man who walked with him will walk in darkness Lord we acknowledge your light we acknowledge your wisdom I join your people to say thank you thank you for everything you have done we will never never be able to thank you enough for lives changed Lord if there is anything that has happened through my life if there is anything that has happened through this ministry we owe it all up to you and we're not ashamed to say thank you tonight receive all the praise this is what it's all about and lord we decree and declare that we are committed to following you i'm committed to following you that you will speak to us and cause that we hear you even when it does not make sense cause us to trust you cause us to believe you may we never be ahead of you oh god may we always allow you to lead in the name of jesus and lord we renew once again as a ministry our covenant of partnership that oh god we remain followers pursuers seekers of your presence seekers of your ways you made your ways known to moses and lord we declare in the name of your son that we will follow it doesn't matter we will follow regardless of how comfortable or otherwise it is we will follow you in the name of jesus so father we dedicate this moment very precious moment to you i thank you for your people the workers in this ministry the leaders in this ministry all those connected to this ministry the financial partners who have lifted our hands through their seats and sacrifices those who have labored in secret and in open to see your glory come i pray oh god that you bless them let no man go unrewarded receive all the glory in the name of jesus christ amen and amen god bless you thank you spiritual intelligence I didn't meet the testimonies but I heard everyone rejoicing so I want to believe they were powerful testimonies let me just say something before we get to the word um, thank you so much for not only believing in the ministry for believing in me and what God is doing in my life I know that you love me I know that you believe me you believe in the anointing 
thank you so much for your partnership but then i just want to say two things very quickly number one i want you to trust the things you are learning here praise the lord um while we were on our way back from the trip my mind was on the meeting and i was just thinking there are very anointed men and women of god in this place who i would have easily just called and said look i'm so tired i'm worn out please can i rest have a crusade tomorrow and say look let me just rest bless the people of god by god's grace we're connected to very anointed and blessed people that love me and believe in what god is doing and i could easily just call them and say look come and be a mighty blessing to the people of god i don't do these things by myself just because i am not replaceable that's not the idea there is a picture that the lord has shown me about what he wants us to become are we together now every teaching listen carefully every truth that you hear being shared here was not emotionally fabricated to keep ministry going i wish you understand what goes in to bring every word here i preach an average of two to four messages every week it is hard work to prepare a message very hard work are we together aside from the prayers the preparation the physical constraint the research etc i do these things because there is something god is making us become please i want to encourage everyone don't just believe in me and love me and trust me which i greatly appreciate but submit yourself to the things you are learning these keys will make you become something there is an end some of us by the grace of god are already tasting of this mold we're already seeing how much our lives are becoming some of us are just catching up and others have tested of this for a while but i want to encourage you every series every teaching just follow them the way they are don't try to tamper with any equation you are giving be that childlike and watch something happen in your life are we together i think it's quite arrogant for anyone to not have result and criticize anybody who has it archbishop benson idahosa said um you only have a right to criticize a person when you can do twice what he has done once our society is full of people who believe they know what they are doing and you see the trouble about this pride is that the nonsense will not show now after years of wasting your time you will find out that the bible calls it shadow boxing but the apostle said we have not taught you cunningly devised fables the things you are learning here are not my ideas they are older than me the truths that come here represent the wisdom of god you hear me sing that song though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river there are people who have crossed this river we're not trying to invent something new there's nothing about the anointing that is new there's nothing about generational impact that is new so i want to encourage us pay attention to these things don't get so familiar and then don't listen no open up your heart don't just write don't just say amen don't just fall down don't just roll believe it receive it in your heart and be diligent be diligent to apply it listen i give you one guarantee let me tell you this and i've been saying this for many years you will never never fail if you listen to what i'm telling you believe me there are people who will think these things are just jargons and then after many years the danger is they will now have children and families yet they don't have an idea of the systems of god and they will frustrate a whole generation as a result of their ignorance 
please i'd like you to lift your voice in one minute and Do not take your word lightly. It is capable of changing my life. It is capable of bringing the anointing into my life. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word and I will forever see It's your spirit that opens to me the treasures of your word. And I will forever sing your name. I will sing. I will sing of the wonders of your word. I will sing out for joy. Last week we began a series that is aimed at giving us spiritual intelligence. Please listen. It is dangerous to live in ignorance as to the systems of the spirit. You hear me repeat some of these things again and again. Your victory and my victory in this life is not only dependent on what Christ has done. But dependent on our comprehending the same and applying the principles that will make it happen in our lives the disaster that occur in several lives regardless of what Christ has done is proof that the work of Christ by itself will not bring you results are we together there must be an understanding and we must know how to engage the word and um, there are a number of concepts that we discussed. We took one last week, which was the spirituality of life. That was the first intelligence that the Lord began to walk in our minds. And we investigated this very thoroughly. Life is spiritual. How many of you were blessed last week? Yeah. It is important for us to understand the spirituality of life life is not scientific life is not intellectual life is not emotional life is spiritual are we together and the earlier we understood spiritual things and how to navigate the part of life the earlier we came to this understanding the better the swifter our progress would manifest there are so many people who trivialize the spirituality of life and um it is to their detriment everything about your life to this moment is spiritual so we'll continue we'll take on one just four concepts in this series that i believe that the lord wants to burn in our heart number two god is almighty write it down and then listen to me number one life is spiritual that's the first intelligence you need to have if you want to reign. Second, God is almighty. Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 17. Media, let's work together. Deuteronomy 10, 17. You will never be able to obey God. Listen carefully. You will never be able to do the giant things that the lord desires from you fulfill purpose and assignment if you do not have a revelation of the might of god you can have a revelation of his love you can have a revelation of his goodness but if you want to command victory in your life you need to know 
that God is not mighty. He is all mighty. Deuteronomy chapter 10. Okay. Verse 17. Let me just read it from here. If you have it, let's read it together. If you don't, I'll just read alone. One to read. For the Lord your God is God of gods, a mighty and an awesome God who regarded not persons, nor taketh reward. Some version says, nor taketh bribe. It says, for the Lord your God is what? God of, I've taught you what this means. That every time one thing is compared against another, he's trying to show the all-surpassing excellency. So he says, this Lord your God that you serve, he's not just one of the gods. He's not just one of the lords. Please listen. This God that we serve is not just the best option of the many. He is the only option available. There are so many people who cannot obey God today. There are so many people who cannot believe God. So many pastors, businessmen, family people are unable to receive the instructions of God. Are unable to take steps of faith. Not because they cannot read their Bibles. They do not know how mighty and how great God is. One of the things that you must burn in your spirit as you begin your journey to greatness is to know that God is mighty. Mighty. Savior, He can move the mountains. Listen to this song. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. He's the author of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. There is nothing the Lord will ask me to do that I will be afraid of. No. I have caught a revelation of how mighty he is. The reason why many people cannot obey God is not because they are disobedient. They do not know that he is mighty. Listen. Look at this. Come Sam. If, if I tell Sam I will buy you a car tomorrow. He will not just laugh. The first thing Sam will do is to look at me and evaluate me, my capacity financially, based on whatever information he has at his disposal. Is that true? So Sam will look at me. If Sam does not know me, he will go and ask someone who knows me. Is this guy wealthy enough to be able to buy you a car at will? If he receives a testimony of my ability, Sam will now stand and say, I can believe you. Is that true? If I... If I say right now, everyone in Koinonia, just be listening to me. Welfare department, go and buy minerals, just pass it around. You will never look and say, Apostle, don't deceive us. How much is minerals? Are we together? So it's easy to believe me because subconsciously you have an understanding that I am able. Now, if I say, everybody just sit down, we're going to pass car keys around. You will say, Amen. But what you mean is the prophecy for car keys. Because you look around and imagine. So when God says, I will bless you, your understanding of him will judge what he has said. And you say, Lord, I trust you, but it's well. I, you have a track record of fooling men. God is almighty. So God can speak to you and say, son, do this, do that. Let me tell you something. God never gives you instructions based on your ability. He speaks to you as though he's talking to himself. So don't be surprised to hear how, how challenging his instructions will come. When God speaks to you, he speaks to himself. So he's not going to degrade his standards just because your mind is trying to comprehend him. Are we together? It's up to you by the ministry of the word and the spirit to rise in understanding and get to a point where you will count him faithful that was the testimony of abraham the bible says abraham although he was an hundred years he counted god faithful and so he wavered not at his faith through unbelief 
one day God will stand up and say son it's time to build a big cathedral son it's time to do this I will be stupid to stand and say God don't don't disappoint me no no I have made promises to people as a man and I've seen how they just rejoiced oh I will give you ten naira I will help you to pay your school fees and they jump I've not given them any money didn't give them any check they just started jumping around what if I change my mind you don't think I will so you are happy our unbelief is proof we do not know God is almighty so when he told you you will marry you are still asking him question Lord can't you just give me date and let two of us rest <laughs> I will bless you and you will prosper oh God when when do you know do you know worry is a sign of lack of faith worry believe me when I tell you this it's an uncomfortable truth worry is a sign of lack of faith no when he's in charge when you are in charge with him there is no reason no reason no reason this is the revelation that is responsible for confidence when you see people move around it's not as if there is a charm in their pocket but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded that he is able looking at the great things that god has done today here now is not six years it's just koinonia that is six years the meeting here but even at this it is still a humbling experience watching the things that god has done by his grace seeing the many things seeing his word come to pass do you believe him do you truly believe god don't tell me you believe god until you know that he is mighty not just that he's mighty he's willing to hold your hands when a man is willing to help you and you know that person has capacity to help you you trust him the word trust is from the word bata is best described pastor alpha's son is not even considering whether his father's hand is tired he's sitting happily and playing while the father takes responsibility for bringing the child here it's called trust the child has had a track record in his little life that my father loves me but my father is also strong strong enough and so he can afford to move around not minding whether the father is uncomfortable or not did God ever tell you he's tired of holding you did God ever tell you he he needed assistance his hand was paining him God is not Moses the keeper of Israel the Bible says he neither sleeps what kind of a being is that you don't sleep nor slumber the Bible says there is no searching of his understanding there's too much unbelief there are very few people that believe God you see it in their lives although they claim they trust him but the, 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 the way we act shows we don't trust him I believe That's the song. He's able. He's able. He's able to bless you. He's able to keep you. He's able to bring his word to pass in your life. God is almighty. He's not going to borrow power from someone else and return it. No. He didn't store the power somewhere else. He's not signing like a check, like you go to the bank and plead with them to do a transfer. No. He's almighty. No man voted him into power listen he doesn't store his anointing somewhere and he's insecure if they will take it the bible says once have i spoken twice have you heard uh-huh help me that all 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 he never said he's the only one who can use it but he said it belongs to him alone witches can use it by certain manipulations of the laws of the spirit but hear me brothers and sisters all power the power to make wealth the power for favor 
the power for increase the power for breakthrough the power for children the power that swallows up challenges that power belongs to God know this listen let me tell you ask anyone who knows me I thank God I've taught you about the gift of men I've taught you about the ministry of men but God cursed the eye the day I will leave God to put my eye in a mortal man believing that he's the one who will help me look in my little life i have seen the inconsistencies of men it is foolish for me to sit down and tie my destiny to the word of a man no sir no sir no sir i judge him faithful i can tell you i want to help you and get angry tomorrow and say pastor alpha you offended me i will punish you i won't help you again that's a man for you i can say i want to help you but me too i was expecting help from some from somebody how powerless that can be you are standing in the middle of help to help but there's no helper of god he checked around and nobody was greater than him so he swore by his name that by these two immutable things it is impossible listen i'm speaking to someone here you better believe god and say lord if you spoke to me about your my destiny let's go i believe i like joshua and caleb he said let us go up at once look at david who is this uncircumcised philistine the, 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 this all this fear about our lives fear about the future fear about ministry will i be rich will i marry will i have children how many will my pregnancy stay will i die will a plane crash will they can't jam me all those things are results hear me will crowds come for my meeting what if they get angry one day and don't like me again those thoughts are a product of a lack of knowledge about how mighty god is I sing that song again. Savior, He can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. Savior. talk like this I, I know what some of you are thinking when you hear people talk like this you just say they are lucky I mean you have food to eat you have this thing they kept in front as though we were born like that <laughs> let me tell you something very few people in this life even historically were ever born with any privilege it takes an understanding I remember clearly when the Lord would speak to me in the secret no results no results but i believed him i remember when he told me he would anoint me and he would do great things i remember when he began to give the blueprint of e and i the blueprint of i remember those little instructions he gave on our way to crusade grounds hoping the world will work let me tell you something hey, Jimmy, come come let me tease this guy small i love him he's my friend you see when we started out let me tell you something that time it wasn't like a crowd like this there were few people now i remember clearly i told them that when we went to the crusade ground we we're going to meet all kinds of people blind sick and all of that and i think he thought we we're joking and we had already planned that that time everybody was a minister it wasn't like you're in welfare you don't mm -mm. So when it was time to pray you would just choose at random you didn't have the privilege to know what was wrong until you stood in front of the person are we together now and i remember very clearly a jimmy then and jakes 
when i started saying all those things Ejimi got troubled one time and he said come on let's let's really find out are we going to how you know trying to find out i hope this anointing works i hope those devils are going to be cast out i remember i, I hope you can remember i remember one of the, the first day of the crusade two of our ladies they now went to meet a woman you remember the story they went to meet a woman who was deaf and dumb you know they came with all the zeal had received impartation we had fasted our lives i mean we're looking like skeletons and then the ladies now laid hands you know oh god you spoke to joshua selman and i'm telling you that woman was just looking like this no miracle no healing it was so embarrassing the ladies tried how many of you know that when you try you go around and go around nothing happens i remember one person a jimmy i think it was a jimmy that wanted to minister to a young boy and the boy looked at him and said can you see that tree sir he said we have tied people on it he said he can go and call what did he say he wants to go to the market and call the other people that tied so yes a very small child i remember the shock on a jimmy's face <laughs> listen we didn't look like much then but we believed him the third day of the crusade the deaf and dumb woman spoke her ears open remember the first day nothing happened it was so embarrassing so embarrassing for the ladies they came and met me i said don't worry try it do it again your faith and then on the third day i just got angry i said okay you people have tried look this woman let's deal with this thing before these villagers kill us here see you know why i'm telling you this and why i called him it was faith i remember while we were preparing for the crusade he took his computer his personal computer he was the only one who had a computer then not a laptop a big screen computer he took everything and put it on sale to carry all the money and supply for the crusade these are hidden stories that you may never never know never knew i dedicated my scholarship 100 percent 100 percent 100% for the crusade sacrifices why because we knew God was mighty at a point we didn't have the money to pay where we lodged people as at that morning we were in trouble so we went to greet the king when we went to greet the king we exchanged pleasantries greeted him in the palace and then prayed for him we had a session with the pastors a pastors conference it was a wonderful time people sold some seeds plus the seed the king sent that was how we gathered the money listen there was no assurance no uncle no auntie no partner but god everybody shout but god thank you jimmy i love you god bless you but god when you bring god into the equation the calculation changes you have to know that i had fainted the bible says but god but god the psalmist said, if the Lord had not been our help, now may Israel say, if the Lord had not been our help. Listen, every other thing should happen to you but God. I'm prophesying to somebody. The shame should come but God. The interceptor. Every other thing should come but God. The trouble should come but God. When you add God to the equation, the calculation changes. God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. One of the mysteries that are responsible for fearsome results, responsible for the strange breakthrough in the lives of men, is absolute trust in God. Based on an understanding of who he is, he says, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. The revelation that he is mighty be strong let your stability be upon that i know i do not have the rent but god is faithful i don't know how it will happen but one thing i know is this god will help me 
he said i will lift up my eyes onto the hills from whence cometh my help he says my help cometh from the lord the maker of heaven and earth apostle my father is dead i understand but god is still alive apostle my mother is dead my sisters have found that because i became a christian no sponsor apostle there is there is no helper no there is a helper He's the one who can help men look when god decides to come into your life and help you you will be scared at the result there is something called the help of men we are products ebenezer thus far has the lord helped he says uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped of the lord there are many people who remove god out of the equation of their lives so they look at you and say but i'm more intelligent than you why is your life making progress because i i kept i didn't add god i put him in front of me there are many arrogant people believing they they do every calculation by themselves then they say god where are you just come and join the queue some of us have learned we put god in front and we foolishly follow foolishly follow if he moves this way wherever we are we turn back and say god let's keep going he guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake he said yeah though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death what will happen i shall fear no evil why not because i'm masculine for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me then he says thou preparest a table for me in the presence of my enemies you anoint my head with oil and my cup runs over do you trust god do you believe god is a little teaching but let me tell you something your life will be challenged by circumstances that will require your faith in god no matter how hard working you are a day will come the only person you can cry to I want you to glue this understanding hold his hands and never let him go you're all i want you're everything Lord. you're all have ever needed you're all Wait, give me you. I hope I'm not today. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Hallelujah. The only guarantee to your journey of life. Is his presence and his word his presence and his word men will fail you not may fail will fail prepare for it the best and the most reliable of all of us will still fail brothers and sisters please listen to me so that you stop yourself from receiving heart shattering heartbreak I don't trust men no I don't I receive of their ministry but only as accredited by God. I have pledged my life that anything God cannot give me, let no man claim he can give me. No, sir. No, sir. If God cannot lift this ministry, I will be a liar together with any other person who joins me to believe. No. He said, which of you by worrying can add one cubit? One cubit. One strand of hair. Is God blessing us? Everybody say, God is almighty. God is almighty. In, my life. in my life. Say it again. God is almighty, God is almighty. In, my in my life. Lift your voice in one minute and say, Lord, I permit you to show your might. I'm tired of doubting you. I'm restraining your hand. 
I'm restraining your hand. Ah, there is more that you can do. There is more. There is more that you can do. I have restrained your hand through my unbelief. They limited God by saying, Can God, can God, can God bless me in Zaria? Can He bless me in Zaria? Where are the helpers? No. The God I serve is dependable. Dependable, dependable. Hey, dependable God. sit down but in one minute I want you to look at the mountain that has threatened God in your life and I want you to prophesy say my God can handle you lift your voice and pray say it. my God can handle you I may not have what it takes but my God can handle you no my God can handle you pray my God can handle the shame and reproach. I may not be able to do anything about it, but my God can handle you. The stagnation and delay, the lack of results and lack of progress, my God can handle you. I do not fear. My God can handle you. You know that song, Sam? In, in this place. place. Sing that song for us. Let your power flow. In this place. I pray for signs and wonder. In this place. Let your healing flow.
just sit down. Psalms 147 verse 5, quickly. I'm shaking unbelief in your life. Shaking unbelief in your life. God is a mighty God. He's the almighty. Not an almighty. The almighty. No options. No one above him. No one above him. Thank you, Sam. He says, great is our Lord and of great what power then he says his understanding this is the mystery behind his power his understanding is infinite now when you meet such a man never leave him his understanding is infinite great is our lord and of great power he says his understanding his comprehension is infinite I trust him. I believe him. You know, we when Ogun we came in, um, left this morning, and um, while I just passed the whole Lagos about an expressway down, I kept seeing different camps, prayer camps belonging to different ministries, and I thought for a while. One day, all of them were in their rooms, and God came to them and said, "I will make you great. Do you believe me?" And they were stupid enough to say yes. Some could not speak English, but they said yes. Mm. Had no connection. Some no education, but they said yes. It is when the results happen, people start admiring you. No. The mission is follow me. If you can have that rugged faith to follow him, you will return with a testimony. Please, I want you to bond this. Every time challenges overwhelm you, every time you come to a point where you don't know what to do, meditate on the might, the might of God. I like Angel Michael. When they started fighting with Lucifer over the body of Moses, this is what he said. He said, I will not bring any railing accusation against you, but this is my verdict. The Lord, I invoke a power greater than me. The Lord, rebuke you. You've been trying to fight many battles on your own. It will soon kill you. There are some battles that will eat you up on your own. There are many young men trying to fight the battle of finances by themselves. I'm brilliant. I'm not daft. You will soon die. The, the, the reality of the economy will swallow you up. You better humble yourself and say, Lord, lead me. I'm not ashamed to declare that I do not know if you don't lead me. The Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5. 6 says, and lean not on your own understanding. Right? It says, in all your ways, verse 6 now, acknowledge him and he will make straight your path. 7 says, be not wise in your own eyes. It says, fear the Lord and turn away, depart. All this, do you know why many people don't trust God? This macho man, bold face thing that they want to do to life. Listen, it's good to be bold, but we make our boast in the Lord. When you remove him out of the question, you are boasting and you must defend yourself. Indeed, we make our boast all day long, the psalmist says. Your confidence in life is not just because of your intellectual capacity. Your confidence in life is not just because you think you went to school. Go and find out how many graduates are moving around as if they are holding a tissue paper. Your confidence in life is not because you think you can speak English. Your confidence is not because you think you look good. <sighs> there is one mighty, strong, strong, mighty. You threaten me, he will answer you. Mm. You won't hear my voice in that equation. He will echo. And when God speaks, everything, if you speak to me, it's only me that will respond to you. But when God speaks, everything will answer. Everything. Please tap into this understanding. I'm giving you spiritual intelligence. Don't ever say they are basic. Leave God out of your life and watch the way the enemy will eat you. Leave the understanding of the almightiness of God and show me how you will ever build a house. Show me how you will ever build a ministry. Show me how you will ever build a business. It will, it will so shock you. Take God away. That is a, a, a mountain that cannot be surmounted.
but bring him into the equation and he will cause it to tremble before you now the thing is men don't see him they see only you so they think you are the one doing it alone it's up to you to be smart enough to keep his presence by being an usher and pointing men back to him and say look i know you saw only one person walking but we are two and actually i'm only the second of the two not the first there is one in front of me i am a product of his wisdom i am a product of his leadership there is this treasure he says in earthen vessels that the excellency of power might be of god not of the vessel please repent from this unnecessary vain confidence in yourself i will do this i am smart the way i'm anointed is impossible for me to not have an anointed ministry you are joking go and find out how many people see jesus almost every day and don't have up to 10 people in their church it's not because they are going to hell if it does not give you these keys it says a man can receive nothing except it is given if it is not given to you you can't have it it's impossible what an awesome god you are you're an awesome awesome what an awesome God you are. You're an awesome. Number three. Ready? The third key. Man will always have a role to play man will always have a role to play in fulfilling god's word in his life man will always have a role to play i'm giving you spiritual intelligence so you don't waste your time asking why things are not happening man will always have a role to play someone is being delivered already from this statement your role is not taking the place of prophecy but it controls manifestation between thus saith the lord and it came to pass you have a role deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 and 2 man will always always the love of god is unconditional but his blessings are conditional the love of god is unconditional but his blessings are conditional Here's what it says. And it shall come to pass. If thou shalt. Uh -huh, listen. Diligently hearken. Unto the voice of the Lord. Thy God. To observe. Pay attention. Then number two. To do. All his commandments. Which I commanded this day. That the Lord thy God will do what? Set thee. On high. Above all nations of the earth. Verse two. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee what's the condition if thou shalt hearken verse 2 just stop there if thou shalt hearken to the voice of the lord thy god he didn't say if god speaks he will set you on top as powerful as his voice is it requires a partnership are we together how many believers sit down there is a very sad statement that is used especially around the north that's to mean it was so prepared by god no i believe in the sovereignty of god there are things that are written there is how god can veto in a man's life but it is not in his character to veto over everything are we together so if i'm poor is the will of god if the ministry refuses to grow is the will of god no 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 the will of god is not hidden he has made known unto us the mystery of his will 
is clear I know the thoughts that I think towards you Jeremiah 29 11 thoughts of peace and not of evil not of evil not of evil not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end that means if my life is not bringing me a future and an expected end I know that something is wrong I can't sit down stupidly say no this this has to be God no 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 I know his ways it's not a mystery I know there are challenges I know there is a fullness of affliction I know there are seasons but I also know that the times are in the hands of God he said until the word of the Lord came to him the word of the Lord tried him right but when that word came he prevailed over it in the dealings of God with man you don't suffer forever no sir understand the ways of God so that you don't sit down giving God thanks over things you should be rebuking hallelujah if the membership of koinonia begins to reduce I won't sit down and say it's the will of God he's driving wrong people that's nonsense we know that there is a spirit destroying men because it is the will of God that all men might be saved all men there's no such thing as the crowd does not matter it does the ministry of the kingdom is a ministry of multitudes when you understand your partnership you will know what is demonic you will know what is a process you will know what to give thanks for and what to cast and bind there are too many believers who just sit down and say whatever will be will be unfortunately it's what you don't like that will be are we together everybody hates me they are not nice to me say well maybe that's how my life is it will continue like that you have not sat down to say could there be the manifestation of an evil spirit in my life that is bringing this rain of bad luck I'm such a nice personality but why is it that people cannot help me when you begin to probe and look at things then the Lord will show you your own role and say this is what you have neglected this do and you will see the hand of God everyone say I have a role say it loud I have a role to play in the fulfillment of God's word over my life and destiny say it again I have a role to play in the fulfillment of God's word over my life and destiny say it one last time I always have a role to play in the fulfillment of God's word over my life and destiny never allow anybody listen never allow anybody indoctrinate you into believing you will sit down and cross your leg and things will happen no sir even science refuses that even science refuses that nothing moves by itself right yeah the first law of mechanics science people a body remains in a state of uniform motion or a static state till an external force acts upon it otherwise meaning if I leave this here and there is no force acting it will remain there forever your destiny is like this object it will remain in one place the day God wants to change I know my God he will arise you know your God but you will not arise you provoke his hand to arise for you God will deliver me you people should just keep watching no there is what you must do good master what shall I do to be saved that's why the man was rich what shall I do he knew he had a role to play not oh God save me that's what the other guy said on the cross we are here it's true we are thieves but what did you even say and Jesus looked at him the other one said look we are sinners Lord we take responsibility say you you will be with me this day in paradise the other guy still on the cross as a thief and a criminal was not repentant I'm somebody who is obsessed with a sense of responsibility I I detest irresponsibility of any kind especially spiritual irresponsibility if my life will rise it's up to God in partnership with my cooperation still on this point I want you to write this down are you getting blessed tonight 
just listen to what I'm telling you and you'll be surprised to see how your life will change write this down still on that point three your part will have to be based on knowledge and understanding your part will have to be based on knowledge and understanding in as much as it is important to take action that action must be based on knowledge and understanding not emotions not suggestions not guessing you see the thing about god is he clarifies what role you have to play moses stretch forth your rod it didn't say moses just do whatever you want to do i'm just there no stretch forth your rod jericho joshua tell the people to go around jericho specific instruction once every one of the six days and on the seventh day they go seven times after that together with the priest they raise a shout specific role proverbs chapter 4 verse 7 we we'll look at two scriptures so many people are attempting to cooperate with god but they are doing it in ignorance now when you when you walk in ignorance you alienate yourself from the possibilities that are that are contained in god proverbs 4 verse 7 let's look at it proverbs 4 verse 7 let's turn it from here for time's sake proverbs chapter 4 and verse 7 It says wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom then it says and with all thy getting do what get understanding wisdom tells you what to do understanding tells you how to do it wisdom tells you to cook understanding tells you how to combine the ingredients wisdom tells you you have a great destiny understanding tells you the path to take that's why he says thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path there are similar roles but they are not the same a light to your path direction a lamp to your feet guidance a light to your path direction listen if you come and you're looking for direction i'll tell you okay go left you're going to see two roads follow the left one turn that's direction but when i tell you let's walk together and we get to a place i say okay move with me that's guidance the word of god both guides and directs thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path so god shows you where to go and guides you on how to go there make sure that you understand what to do before you start doing it don't just say wow this tight let okay since prosperity is tied to tithing and all of that let me just tight you may be taking the action but is it based on knowledge and understanding you can frown your face and come and squeeze an envelope and stand as if you are going to stone god with money and drop it in the offering basket as though you are bribing a man and go back and find out that your heaven still remain closed because it is not the substance it is the understanding the insight is what gives life to the action. Are you seeing that now? Yeah. So you are praying for the sick and you are saying in the name of Jesus be healed. But you think he's just about speaking. So you are saying be healed, be healed, be healed. And the person is not being healed. You are still mentioning the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, be healed, be anointed. The power of God will touch people right now. Everybody, you ask them to shout everything. I receive shout jesus shout fire shout water shout and everybody's just looking at you like a rock i say you are such a bunch of unbelievers here you are you are trying to insult the grace of god on my life then you start making reference to meetings that's what people do when they don't have result is it not you that came in 1991 remember that meeting <laughs> bible says jesus the same yesterday today and forever don't bring jesus of yesterday for us we want to see the jesus of today alive and strong but that's what happens to people let your action be based on knowledge knowledge okay what is the revelation behind tithing why does tithing open the heavens wow tithing is my spiritual circumcision 
tithing is my proof of obedience tithing is not a proof of love giving is a proof of love tithing is a proof of obedience tithing does not mean you love god tithing just means you are obedient because an exact figure was given to you so i begin to study it i see those who gave their tithe and the results that followed and then light breaks out and now i package my tithe with understanding so i come and while i'm singing i'm in the worship team and i'm trusting that every time i lift up my voice people get blessed i know that it's not just a nice voice and beautiful melodies i go and begin to study what is it about music and worship and I begin to find out, ah, this is how it works. Now, on the strength of that understanding, when I lift a song, I'm lifting that song from an understanding. That understanding will allow a dimension of the grace of God to flow through that song. And you find out that people become a reflection of your understanding. Never do things because people are doing it. Spend time to seek knowledge and understanding. Then you take an enlightened step. Take an enlightened step. Everybody is doing business to prosper. You too, you go and do it. No. What is the purpose of it? Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18. The Bible talks about those who are alienated. Alienated from the life of God through ignorance alienated from the life of God through ignorance through ignorance through ignorance are we together yeah there are people who although they are supposed to be walking in certain realities they exempted themselves through ignorance being alienated from the life of God and the Bible says through ignorance I am always passionate about a revelation of the areas where I do not know. I'm not too proud to learn. I always want to know what am I doing wrongly. What, when I find knowledge that is relevant to me, I jump at it with all my heart. I know you have been taking action, but is it based on insight? Is it based on revelation? You saw people anointing themselves. You went to go and buy Goya oil. And you brought it and all of a sudden you opened a bottle and drank small rubbed small on your head rubbed small on your hand went to sleep and his spirit sat on you 10 minutes later and he said my god with this oil yes with the oil you carried your bible and put it under your bed and while you slept you had the worst dream even the day you slept watching a film you had a good dream but now you put your bible because it's not in actions revelation there are too many people who don't pay attention to revelation revelation Ephesians 1 17 Paul speaking says for this cause I Paul bow my knees to the father of our Lord Jesus Christ that he may grant unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him your eyes being enlightened or flooded with light that you may know come into a comprehension come into an understanding of a reality it is important for us to know i like it to say in the name of jesus lord take away ignorance from my life say it again take away ignorance you know let me tell you something the little understanding that god has given me about certain kingdom realities the mysteries of the kingdom i watch how people break these laws every day and want to succeed and want to do well i watch pastors break the laws that bring success in ministry i watch business people break the laws that bring success in business i watch leaders break the laws that bring uncommon results i watch people who want the anointing break almost every law that brings it you see enlightenment is very powerful because when you are moving in darkness you don't even know and so you keep trying this is not working but i fasted 30 days i thought at the end of 30 days an angel will appear to me and say from this day i give you a mantle receive it you collect it and, and nothing happens and yet you see how effortless 
certain people move in the grace and the power of God as though God owes them his presence and power you've got to find out it's not just in saying the power of God is moving it's not just in saying this and that and that no as I passed Lagos about an expressway today I saw the predictability of the results of the people you know most of those fathers of faith came from the same background the same background the apostolic church Aladura CAC that background regardless of what they have now so certain foundational things were functional regardless of what the ministry is crowds space they caught a revelation of space they don't buy small things they buy kilometers not plots and expand it i've had the privilege to see photos of some of these ministries in some nations that are racist nations yet they gave them land it's a grace now they may not have as much revelation as you do but sadly they have more results which do you prefer the end of everything brothers and sisters is results hearing is my father glorified that you bear much fruit not that you learn about plants that you bear much fruit you can learn all you can about plants but if you cannot bear fruit you are not glorifying the father your action must be based on light and that means you must contend for light let me tell you how i study i write out the areas of my life where i have seen some measure of result and i celebrate and thank god then i write out the areas in my life where i'm trusting god for results or greater results and then i begin to study from the word of god and secondly from the life of those who have commendably produced results in that area that's how you get results that's how you get results I'm not going to study somebody who is not working in the anointing if I want to work in the anointing. I will love the person. I will respect the part, the fact that he is part of the body. But he has nothing to teach me about the anointing. It's not working in his life. So I will find somebody who represents the hand of God to the degree to which I desire. And humbly study to the degree to which I desire. There may be many of them, but I must find the one that reflects my expectation. Then I study follow them the bible says who through faith and patience obtain not are obtaining they have obtained the promise hallelujah run away from ignorance run away from it start acting blindly don't just act emotionally the moment you panic blood of jesus holy ghost fire honestly holy ghost fire hey, these demons you are hearing holy ghost you don't know what the fire of the holy ghost does you don't even know whether it exists you don't even know whether the blood of jesus is there and what it should have so you are just praying holy ghost fire holy ghost fire blood of jesus it will never i, I refuse to believe it then you start crying even you you know you didn't believe what you said because at the end you just stop, stop praying and say god is this how you leave me May people of confidence arise who know you see when you are walking by light you will not stop regardless of the result because you know the result will show it's like driving right when you are driving somewhere you don't get tired after five minutes and say we've not reached let me park this car you keep moving why because you know you will get there when people start practicing certain things and stop it is because they don't have a revelation that that is the key for every door there is a key you have a bunch of keys in your hands the bible calls them the keys of the kingdom you have to painstakingly find out which one opens which door i can have a bunch of keys in my hands that does not mean the doors will open how many of you have different doors in your homes that have different keys you can see one small and then another one big the keys don't replace themselves you have to know which one there are certain padlocks you open them in a very interesting way there are others you can close your eyes and just chuck it and turn and it opens all in the same house so there are things you can just come and effortlessly solve but there are others you have to look at it with the eyes of the spirit ah this is what i do this is what i do and i get results in the name of jesus christ i pray for you
may the days of shadow boxing come to an end in your life efforts that are not done out of knowledge efforts that are not done out of out of accuracy you will begin to be circumspect and every action of yours will start producing strange results in the name of jesus christ let's take two more and then we'll pray is god speaking to you thank you jesus number what number four evil still exists write it down evil the reality of darkness the depravity the existence of wickedness the existence of darkness is a revelation that you must comprehend if you want to walk in victory walk in triumph and have spiritual intelligence listen it is not only weakness it is foolishness to ignore the presence of evil evil still exists first john chapter 5 verse 19 let's turn there write it down and turn there. first john 5 19 Jesus thank you can you play the guitar too for me Binga just follow him and play God wants to do something in this place first John 5 19 it says and we know that we are of God and then it says apologies for the projection issues I'll just read from here you listen to me carefully and we know that we are of God then it says and the whole world lieth it didn't say receives visitation the world is lying like you say this pulpit is lying on a, a rock a carpet then it says the whole world lied where in wickedness listen i want to give you spiritual intelligence the condition to be a victim of any attack from the devil is that you are born not that you do anything wrong or right the moment you find yourself on this side of god's kingdom immediately there is a contention every human being on earth is a potential battle axe satan will not wait till you become one he starts attacking you from birth he knows that everyone born of a woman carries the potential to be used by god are we together yeah apostle what have i done who did i offend have you heard that that culture driven terminology this one that demons are against me nothing works in my life i didn't offend anybody you don't have to there is a story that predates your existence listen to the teaching pulling down strongholds and a number of other teachings warfare series i teach there very extensively on the reality of wickedness many of us trivialize it until it attacks you no the bible says woe to them who are at ease in zion scripture clearly tells us that this world living is a warfare living is a warfare i think it's dr paul Enenche who says that the world is a battlefield not a playing ground it's a real battlefield just start getting blessed and watch people hate you for doing nothing you are trying to show you have money who did you offend nobody lie down and sleep and let someone not be able to sleep he wakes up and is angry why are you sleeping this is the world we live in you have a neighbor who looks at you and sees you dancing giving glory to god and he says all these arrogant people i will deal with you that begins attacks in your life please listen to me i'm sharing with, i'm giving you spiritual intelligence I have factored in my life that every day of my life until Jesus comes 
somebody somewhere hates me enough to want to see me dead somebody somewhere hates me enough to go so only god knows how many people are in a herbal shrine now calling my name while i'm sleeping only god knows how many people are saying let him have a plane crash this year let him have a car accident this year so that all the mouth is making about the word of god so that people will be discouraged the problem is never the enemies the problem is you but to ignore their presence is a joke the psalmist listen judas one who was close to jesus used a kiss a kiss is supposed to be a good thing a sign of love but to someone it was a sign destroy him brothers and sisters hear me i don't mean to insult your civilization but i'm sorry to inform you that witchcraft is real say it after me witchcraft is in everyone's village here everyone is in the city is in zaria somebody somewhere is looking for blood and they are hoping that your own will be the one they are finding <laughs> you better grow up fast enough to believe what i'm telling you the whole world lieth in wickedness a man goes out in the morning and returns back with a sack letter that was the happiest day of his life but he returned back ask joe Job was minding his business and consultations were happening in the heavenlies and all of a sudden everything began to fail in his life brothers and sisters i can look at a life and know that this life is under attack i have seen marriages under attack all of a sudden love dries up between the husband and wife for no reason the man is angry with the wife you ask him many times i counsel them i say sir what exactly did your wife do he said apostle i can't tell you this is exactly what she has done but i'm tired of this woman i have to look for another one then you know that hell is breaking loose madam why do you hate this man i'm tired i've not enjoyed my marriage from the day we've been married for 17 years not one day of joy madam you didn't laugh on your wedding day not one day of joy not one day of joy <laughs> Yet you see videos of happy moments when they dance together. Not one day of joy. And she's planning to leave that guy. By Jesus, for sure. A man prays for the arrival of a child. And have you seen people who look at their children and regret that they were married? Not because the child did anything. From the day this child came, our finance doesn't stay again. What sort of a child is this? I don't need a word of knowledge to know that your life is under attack all I need to know is did you say yes to the Lord Jesus Christ do you mean business about your destiny then your life is a project for darkness how can we make the word of God fail in pastor Alpha's life how can we make promise not become that thing how can we frustrate the purposes of God upon Benga's life that's the devil for you let me tell you something with satan he's a patient fellow don't take his patience as foolishness he can be patient and wait for 20 years until the ministry expands enough for you to not pray again then he comes just like he said he would and destroy your life are we together there are many of us right now i know your life is under attack by your prayer life I see it you don't need a word of knowledge I know your life is under attack by the bitterness things you never would conceive before are now at work in you I see the anger and the resentment you hate everybody for no cause it's not you Peter Peter Satan desire to sift you like wheat but I have prayed for you that your faith fail not and when thou art converted strengthen thy brethren I look at a man and know his life is under attack all doors of finance is closed then four children become sick in one day he's coming the thief cometh not but to steal you always see his signature when he comes he leaves the traces a family that were once happy all of a sudden 
from nowhere you will see the lady will just come with one kind of trouble somewhere the guy will come with one kind of trouble somewhere the guy will start smoking he will come and speak to his father and say from today i'm a man you talk to me i slap you just when he's doing that they sack him from work just when he's doing that something happens his car packs out brothers and sisters it is not a test it is oppression hallelujah all of a sudden mysteriously people start dying within a region have you seen that happen just like in three weeks or one month men fathers of people just go away mothers of people just go away brothers and sisters just go away just like that five people lose their jobs within two weeks in your house don't tell me it's not an attack someone promises you i will give you a job even says complete everything you travel around the last stage someone just wants to sign and say what did you say your name is again Femi, me i said i will help you call this person for me did i say this guy was part of them you say sir we even drank minerals that day say look i can't remember drinking any minerals leave this place i have seen witchcraft life in the lives of people I have seen families under attack no one rises you rise beyond certain limits the devil will not stop you but one day something happens and it crashes you there are ministries within certain regions that don't reach three years Zaria is one of those places the lifespan of any ministerial impact in this city is three years after three years a scandal must arise or something must arise and destroy you if you survive three years you are truly anointed you see it happen a musician comes into the city they are inviting him to every church they exhaust your grace in two months and dump you they are looking for the next person there is such evil like that there are men of god like that there are seasons where they are relevant for one year two years they are the talk of the town almost every church invites them after that you see them walk upon the street there are names in this nation and around the world i cannot even begin to mention people who were inspirations when you mention them they represented certain dimensions now they are as silent as a dead body wickedness is real evil is real one of us here showed me the picture of his father i think it was last week and i saw the man's legs like half of the leg you could see the bones sorry for painting a graphic picture no flesh it had eaten what happened to the man he was sleeping you know went to bed at night and all of a sudden someone fired an arrow to the leg he saw it and woke up just a slight pain a slight pain started eating up when i saw the picture it was irritating I said this is your father's leg just imagine dividing my leg by half imagine the toes knees you are seeing the bones that's somebody's leg alive today hiv people who receive their hiv not by a bad living but from dreams are you aware do you know when the enemy rises against you do you have the discernment to know or you just sit down and say we are all like that it's just nigeria you know i've shared with you a, a story I'll, I'll, I'll share it here one time i was praying i think i was in a fast and then i was praying and i've shared it here a number of times my the, the ceiling just disappeared like disappeared like that and all of a sudden i saw a big creature big like as tall as this from here up the eyes alone were like the head like my head imagine two of my head that's the eyes and then the tail was like a snake imagine another animal joined to another animal the tail had life of itself it could detach and live its life independently you know how you caught a worm and then the parts are, are, are acting that's how it was and then he looked at me with fierce anger and this is what he told me he said so you think you can bring the people of god into abundance 
that was a conversation red fiery eyes and after that the vision disappeared you think the devil is happy every time you are being transported you think the devil is happy every time you are being delivered you think the devil is happy every time you are being saved being healed you think the devil is happy with this information you are receiving that your life is being changed you think the devil is happy that now you have been taught not to cry at challenges in times of famine you should dance and rejoice you think satan is happy with that mystery so imagine how much he would try to come against me let's do something to this man imagine how he would try to come against koinonia let's do something against koinonia who is like him the lion and the lamb seated on the throne mountains bow down every ocean roll to the lord of lords who is like him the lion and the lamb seated on the throne mountains bow Listen, when you find out that there is a pattern of pain and tragedy, I want you to know that hell is about to break its back over you. And that is the time to arise. Before the throne, there is the cross. And you must know how to fight your way to victory. This is where spiritual laziness has cheated many of us. This is where the ministry of prayer has been absent in our lives the ministry of engaging the world for victory too much carelessness and people never rise they die at the cross there they die in the grave and there is no resurrection for them hallelujah when everything in your life goes haywire please hear me i understand that here and there one aspect of your life you may be trusting god but when every area of your life is zero if you have been finding out whether it's the devil, I answer your prayer now. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I know his signature. Everything cannot go wrong at once. Something is wrong somewhere. And so it is important you acknowledge it. And then you lock your door and find out what is the mystery of deliverance. Not what is the mystery of prosperity. What? Why am I not getting a job? No job. No money no favor no open doors no anointing no breakthrough no helpers you are under attack don't wait until it kills you you finish treating yourself now two weeks later it comes back i guarantee you you are under attack the moment stomach pain is getting healed your eye starts as you are taking the last drug for eye your ear starts all of a sudden you hit your leg you're on your way going to your room that little hit you for two weeks there is no bomb that cures it that was not a stone that was more than a stone i remember one day i was praying and i was praying for someone a particular person in this ministry and then when i was praying the lord led me to pray for that person and immediately i was praying you know how you blow somebody on your back physically like i stand behind you and blow that was what i felt physically when i started praying for the person do you know sincerely speaking i had to kneel down and lay my hands the pain was too much and i knew that person's life was under attack ah i said my god you have to arise and help this one i laid hands there no praise and worship let me tell you this there are prayers that prevail there are different kinds of tongues there are tongues for warfare it's not the tongues for just edifying your spirit man you do you know it will change believe me it's because you don't pray that's why you will never get there just speak anything and even you you know it didn't rise shalakataya the day you lock your door i'm telling you this i'm telling you this you lock your door and say i'm not going out until there is a change 
I'm blasting tongues. The Spirit of God, you will feel your tongues changing. You will know this is warfare prayer. You may not know what you are saying. Your mind is not fruitful. But at a point, your spirit, the anger of your situation is added to your prayer. You are not laughing, praying nonsense. You are thinking of who is calling. No. You are praying because you know that you are breaking through. And at a point, joy. Mm -hmm. One of the signs of the manifestation of the kingdom. Joy comes to you. And for reasons you cannot explain, you know that victory has been wrought. Peace comes to you. He gives you a sign. I tell you, when you get that sign, start dancing. No power. Hear me. This is how I live my life. When I pray. Listen, let me teach you something. Hold on, please. When I pray, I don't stop until that joy comes i don't do all this i'm praying for 30 minutes one hour if it is in five minutes the joy comes that's when i stop pray you hold the universe you hold every one of us listen there are people here the moment a man appears in your life those spirits arise the lifespan of that relationship it will not pass two months no matter how virtuous you are you thought it was just because you were bad no the best people in your family have gone through the same thing please listen to what I'm telling you I'm giving you keys that will give you victory evil is real hear me if you see crowds like this gathered inside and outside by the grace of God, brothers and sisters, victory was commanded in the realm of the spirit. It didn't just happen. You sit down there and allow Satan to keep blackmailing what you represent. Every time you want to bless people, people say, don't trust Benga. I'm still suspecting him. Don't you know there are spirits that plant deception? You blast them out in prayer. Someone wants to marry you. All of a sudden, a stranger arises. She does not know she's under the influence of a demon. This lady did A and B and C last year. No, sir. The moment he wants to bless you, he wants to do business with you. And a night before signing the contract, what million somebody calls him and says, who did I hear you are doing business with? Be careful. You see that? Let me tell you, there are spirits. I told you life is spiritual. You keep watching things happen in your life, you will never rise beyond some levels. There are some of you, the moment you hold money, finances, everything will go haywire till it finishes. When it finishes, everything dies by itself. It's an attack. It's an attack. There are times some of you have received calls from me even in the night you were sleeping and you just had me call you and i say where are you what are you doing oh apostle i mean this and that and that all right let's pray some of you have, have received calls i just call you I, sometimes i don't even know you you don't ask how i got your phone number i just call you and i say let's pray in the name of jesus a and b i see the numbers in dreams and the lord says call this person there is an attack over their family I just call you and off the phone you don't even know what happened some of you when the devil is about to buffet you the lord uses my face in your dreams here he comes shows up i tell you if you see me in your dreams start dancing i'm not a herbalist believe me it's a mystery god used the voice of eli to speak to samuel God uses a grace you honor that represents a ranking that can solve your problem. So when he shows up, he shows up with his covenant of possibilities. It's not Joshua Selman. It's the lamb, the lamb himself using the face of his servant. Listen. Don't mind people who preach nonsense around. Say men of God use charm and herbalist to man. Do it if it's easy to, to make charm. believe and receive your miracle by faith mark 11 verse 24 jesus say what so things ever ye desire when you pray it says believe that you have received it 
there is a difference between receiving and having it says oh i thought they projected it believe that you receive then you will have it receiving is of the spirit having is the experiential manifestation it says when you pray you must believe receive it it is yours in the now listen the bible says receive and have therefore i say unto you what things soever ye desire what do you desire tonight whatsoever miracle you desire whatsoever breakthrough whatsoever deliverance you desire it says when you pray believe that is yours believe it receive it receiving is by faith receiving is by faith it's not a physical reality you don't receive physically you receive by faith then you will have it in the glory i will stand i will stand and i will lift my hand in the glory we receive every miracle you have for us in the glory tonight we stand we will stand and we will lift our hands it's in your glory we will receive every miracle you have listen you will never have in the physical what you do not receive in the spirit are you listening to me you will never have in the physical what you do not receive it said when you pray it is a believe you have that will be lying believe you receive and you will have it number four you must take action listen we call koinonia intimacy but not just intimacy partnership a participation with the holy ghost hallelujah it's not entirely left to god to change your situation it's not entirely left unto you the bible says listen to me that when they came to jesus christ jesus came and went to a pool called bethesda that had five porches and the bible says he saw a man who had been laid there for 38 years hallelujah when he saw that man he told him that would he want to be healed and the man was grumbling and complaining and he did not bring his miracle are you listening to me grumbling and complaining does not produce miracles hallelujah and the bible says that jesus told him john 5 verse 1 to 9 you can read it it says take up thy bed hold on how can jesus tell a crippled man to take his bed it is a people assist him he said you stand up take your bed and walk home in other words if you believe me to be powerful enough take action faith is not faith until there is an action hallelujah acts chapter 3 paul i mean peter and john on their way to pray at the hour of prayer the bible says and then they saw this crippled man from birth sitting at the gate beautiful hallelujah acts chapter 4 verse 1 to 9 and the bible says that he looked unto them expecting to receive arms he did not know that his time of visitation had come and Peter said, silver and gold we have not, he said, but such as we have. 
See, there are people that have something. Let me tell you something. Not everybody is a noisemaker. There are people that have something. It's an election of grace. At what point did Peter know he had something? Because the last time the Bible tells us he was sinking, he was not sure he had something. But now he said, uh uh, it's not Peter. Something, I have something. And such as I have, give I. He said, In the name of Jesus. Oh, this is the inheritance of the believer. In the name of Jesus. He said, Rise up. Do you know the man did not stand? He was just looking because there was no action. The Bible says, Listen. This sign shall follow. It will not go before them. It will follow. The signs follow. They do. Listen. Your faith initiates signs and wonders. The woman with the issue of blood began to speak. She said, this is my conclusion. If only I can touch the hem of his garment. I don't care who is going to stop me. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, Peter, helping his faith to work, held his hands and lifted him. And the Bible says, and he leaping stood. Hallelujah. As the word of God comes, don't sit down wondering. That's the time to say thank you, Jesus. That's the time to celebrate. That's the time to check yourself. Check the tumor. Don't say, I don't want to embarrass. No! That devil that has been oppressing you, as the word of God comes, you receive it and you begin to take action. This is the last time. That terminal disease, I wave you goodbye. You are gone for good. Partnership. Hallelujah. How many of us are ready to receive tonight? I know that God is going to do mighty things. It's going to be very, very fast. Very, very, very fast. Hallelujah. Very, very fast. Ushers, if it's possible, please start collecting the prayer request because we don't want an interruption. If you don't believe prayers are answered in this place, please don't write anything. You will not go to hell. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. For in your presence there is life everlasting. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. Hallelujah. Please pass your prayer request to the last person by your side. Ushers coordinate them. Let's do it. Please pass it quickly. So we bow as we enter the throne room. Lord, we cast ourselves down at your feet. For you are holy, thou art holy. There is none like you, for in your presence that is where I must be. Now I don't 
He's healing everyone in obedience to Christ. Sin obedience to Christ. Sin obedience to Christ. Sin obedience to Christ. In obedience to Christ. In obedience to Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The one who does these great things. Tonight let no man be worthy of praise. Let no man be worthy of honor. Alpha Omega for the things that you will do in this place I give you praise because you always hear me whenever I call him he will answer me Elijah called on him and he answered him the apostles called on him and he answered them this is why i know whenever i call on you you will answer me listen let me teach you something before i begin to minister you can never be more confident than your secret place will give you are you listening to me the secret place is the place of authentic power the confidence of a believer is in the derivative of your knowledge the Bible says let the wise man not glory in his wisdom let the strong man not glory in his strength it says but let him that glory at glory in this that he knoweth and understandeth me I know that there are many men and women of God here who have come from different places to catch the fire. And this is why I'm saying this. Listen, this is not about jamboree. There is a real person called the Holy Ghost. He's not a myth. Listen, you will never be able to walk in miracles until you believe in the reality of this personality. That he can find expression in the midst of his people. Hallelujah. Praise God. Jesus saw tears and wheat. And he gave us a verdict. He said the enemy has done this. Can I announce to you that there is a devil that will not relent over your destiny until you put him where he belongs. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Bible says upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness. And then the sons of Jacob after that deliverance will possess oh there is no possession until there is a separation between light and darkness hallelujah all the powers of darkness that have tormented you while i prayed the lord opened my eyes and i saw a lot of torments that are keeping people where they are listen the lord told me something he said for everyone i was talking with my sister earlier on and she was just sharing her desire to receive and i i went to the lord about it and the lord said that all you need to do tonight that's what he was telling me he said if you speak it i will confirm it that's what god told me hallelujah when god told me i started writing a list of the issues i know in people's lives because I've been receiving text messages. Some of you sent me text messages. 
angry about some situations and my God told me he said if you will speak it I will do it tonight I tell you the truth and I lie not believe the Lord he will surprise you tonight please listen there are some of you I must say this when we mention your case or any issue that has to do with you please don't waste the time of others hallelujah don't waste the time of others struggling and then coming very shabby very complacent we'll just jump you is that agreed because we want to see how we can use the few minutes we have to really do a quick walk in our lives hallelujah thank you jesus lift your hands as we worship you see the rain of your love feel the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear just lift your hands i didn't ask you to sing feel the rain of your love see the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear yeah. we see the rain of your love feel the wind of your spirit please lift your hands when i begin to sing let it rain there will be deliverances let us hear so let it rain or shall spring them out let it rain Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. The power of the Holy Ghost moving across this building. Yeah. I see a lot of chains, chains, demonic oppressions. The power of God is already moving, but we are going to shout the name Jesus. Listen, listen. Every time the Lord shows me this, I see angels and I see the movement of the angelic right now. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. Many of you will literally feel like electricity running through your body and those devils there is no hiding place tonight are you listening to me how many of you believe there is no hiding place tonight there is no hiding place at the count of three my god you will confirm your word everyone under any yoke any spell any enchantment at the count of three let the power of god Bring such a one inside and outside. Let the angels of the Lord move at the count of three. Are you ready to shout now? One, two, three. Oh, I cast out devils. Go, 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 go. I expose the power of darkness. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost, let the fire of the Holy Ghost fall. Let the fire bring her. Leave her, leave her, leave her, leave her. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost. Satan, get lost. Satan, get lost.
on some of you you will run out here by the influence of the Holy Ghost no man will stop you by the influence of the Holy Ghost is the fire of God it will happen to some people from outside outside the fire of God is falling and even inside but I want you to know as I begin to chant in the spirit there's no hiding place for any devil tonight so get take a parata Lord let your power move every power every force of darkness I release the fire of the Holy Ghost let it fall I release the fire leave them leave them leave them ushers leave them alone you will come out by the power of the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost will bring you out from your seat the Holy Ghost will bring you out from your seat the Holy Ghost will bring you out from your seat the Holy Ghost will bring you out Hallelujah. Now, there are some of you that see men come to sleep with you in dreams and oppress you. They call it spirit husband and spirit wife. I don't care what the name is. Right now, there is fire. Lift your hands, everybody. Responsible for failure. Responsible for delay. Listen. Listen. At the count of three, the Lord showed me in a vision. This one will hit many people. Tonight is a night of deliverance. Many of you do not know. This is what is responsible for your setback. I already see angels standing in front and outside. Listen, it's going to, you know, you will not be able to stand it. It's a fire. Are you ready now? At the count of three, some of you will not finish shouting Jesus. Lord, I pray. You said if I can speak it, you will do it. I stand under this apostolic unction. Every manifestation of the devil at the count of three. One, two, three. Go for Tosha. Legacy. Go for Yeta.
said for this purpose was the son of God made manifest that he may destroy put to an end the power of God is still falling I tell you devils are under major attack by Paul's attack the angels are walking don't wait till you fall down receive don't wait till you fall down has nothing to do with falling yeah. 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 this was a sound that I had in the spirit that's why I'm singing it yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Bring her. It's time for her deliverance. I command you to come. I command you to come. Don't force her. She will come by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come. Come and stand here. Yeah. 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 Listen. A scripture entered my spirit. It said, how all inspiring are your ways. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit. When light enters you, it makes you a madman. Tonight is a night of major deliverance. Major, major, major. Yeah. Hallelujah. Leave her alone. Stand there. Stand there. Yeah. Listen, listen to me. Everybody, look at me, please. The word of God is not a lie. God cannot be joking with you. Anytime you take your Bible, I told God, my life and this ministry will be a demonstration of the book of Acts. Is the acts of the Holy Ghost. Sir King Salama Salama. He's called the Prince of Peace. Salama. Hallelujah. Leave her alone. Be still. Stand in one place now. Your time in this body is over. Your time in this body is over. Now in the mighty name of Jesus. Out of her now. Come out of her. Out of her. Sir King Salama. Out. Come out. The fire of the Holy Ghost. He maketh his angels, spirits, and his ministers flames. Leave her now. She's free. Sarkin Salama. 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 Your time is up. This is Koinonia. The mighty name of Jesus. Come out now. Out of her. Yeah, boy. Listen. Listen. The Lord is showing me an arrow coming from outside this country. This is what affected this boy. This thing has tied this gentleman's life. 
Leave him. Leave him. Come back here. Come back here. Now. Sorry, everybody. Come back here. Many of you, listen. Many of you do not know that wickedness is real. You have allowed films to, distort, to, to spoil your mind. If you don't take, I tell you, whatever is stopping, one of the things I will be doing tonight is breaking the curse of marital delay. Oh, the devil, it will answer tonight. Look at, it's already happening. Come out! Come out! This guy has a violent spirit. A violent spirit. The mighty name of Jesus. Every lecker hole you have over this body. I challenge you right now. You will leave him. The fire of God is against you. It's time for you to go out. Out of him. Out. Shall the captives be delivered and the prey be taken from the mighty. But thus saith the Lord. Let her go right now. Thou foul devil. Come out. Come out. So pray take a barrier da baladala. Sarkin salama. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Let me tell you what the Lord is showing me about this gentleman. This guy, listen, listen, please. This guy has a very, very colorful destiny. But do you know what I just saw? From his head to his toe. How many of you have read the story of Lazarus? That's what I saw. And he was tied with snakes from his head to his toe. This is what I'm seeing right now. See? Do you know that the challenges many of you are going through is not ordinary? It's because nobody has told you. But tonight there is a God to set you free. This is spirit husband. This is what is stopping this lady from getting married. Out. Come out of her. Out now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your time is over. I'm seeing an army officer. I'm army officer. In the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Shake her taba. Brentoko prikata. Out of her right now. This is the spirit of lust. Go pros ketaliada. Be gone. There is no hiding. I tell you something. See, the mistake the devil made was to allow you come in here tonight. I don't care whether you are wherever. If you came here tonight, if except God lied to us in the Bible. But if he told us the truth, there will be a performance in your life tonight. Sirkin Salama. Come out. Out of her right now. Salama. Salama. Listen, let me tell you what happens in meetings like this. Some of you, because of this demon spirit, the one to start pushing you to go out or to run away, you, you better stay and let God help you. The devil is a liar tonight. Are you listening to me? Okay, I didn't finish with this guy. Watch what will happen to this brother. He's not looking at me. Oh. He's not looking at me. Just calm down. Stay in one place. I'm not speaking to him. Don't, don't worry. Stay in one place. You can't go anywhere. You come here. This is a, the head of a snake I'm seeing. 
right to his foot in the mighty name of jesus christ the fire of the holy ghost sets you free right now from your head to your toe i lose you i lose you he's going to cough out something outside take him outside he's going to go and cough out something Sarkin Salama Salama eh, Salama yeah. Come out of her right now in the name of Jesus Devil of darkness Sarkin Salama Salama There's someone that has a problem, a heart problem, heart problem. That was your request, heart, something in your heart. I don't know what it is. The Lord is showing me. Please remember I told you don't waste our time. Please. There's a lot of things we have to do this night. Heart. Something pertaining to your heart. If you are still thinking about it, you are not the person. Please, quickly. Salama, yeah. Salama. Salama, yeah. Hallelujah. Ah, ah. See, there is a lady. Now, don't feel embarrassed at what I'm about to say. You see snakes in your bathroom. Ladies' bathroom. Who is that person? Come out. Come out. This has been an issue. You have not shared it with people. Snakes, you are you see it. Who is the person? Please. Salama. Salama. Yeah. You are not the only one, no. You are not the only one. This is the problem. God, God is ready to deliver you. Look, this is a family. Are you listening to me? This is not. This is an apostolic ministry. So there is, we are here, we are a family. When God is mentioning your case, forget about what, what issue of shame. Issue of shame is out of the way. Hallelujah. What's wrong with your heart? Asthma. Asthma. Is asthma really a heart? This one, I'm seeing a heart problem. But I'll pray for you. Be healed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Heal. Listen, I'm going to pray for you people. God is doing Come out of her now. Out. Come out of her now, devil of darkness. Your time is up. Just hold my hands. With both of your hands. The fire of God will hold it as tight as you can. It cannot stand. It will leave you. Because you are destined for greatness. Once I see it in the spirit, it must go. For light cannot hide in darkness. Aha, I see you now. Out! Go! Go, Kapotoka, Reketaria, Mambroscote, Reketeria Daba, Boseketalia. Out, come out of her. Out of her right now. Sarkin Salama. Look at me. Two things God is doing. Hold my hands. Hold it. Do you believe you want God to set you free? Sarkin Salama. Look at my eyes. You just look at my eyes. Try to look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Devil of darkness. Go! There is no hiding. For there is a name that is above every other name. What did she come out for? The same thing? Why were you afraid? Don't be afraid, eh? You hear? Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. Look at me. Can you shout Jesus? 
as loud as you can. Go ahead. Salama. You are free. Salama. Salama, yeah. Be delivered right now. I set you free. Now. Do you know what is happening to this lady? If I tell you, some of you will not believe. For every shout that she's making is demons that are going. When she's done, she'll be quiet. <laughs> now, leave her. Fire upon you right now out of her this lady has a great destiny this is a snake this is what i'm seeing this is a whole snake mighty snake the lord is against you let her go now That is above all names. Hold my hands, my dear. Hold my hands. No, I'm not speaking to her. Don't worry. Come, hold my hands. I'm not speaking to her. Don't worry. You people do not understand spiritual things. You are spiritual people here. Come, hold my hands. The demon knows what it means, what I'm saying. Salama, yeah. Salama. Hurry up, please save our time. We, we don't have much time. Salama. Hold my hands. Don't tap it. Hold it. Out now. Salama, yeah. Salama. Watch the way this demon will live. Come, see. Listen. You will go on your knees. You will bow to the king of kings and go. Simple. You will go on your knees, bow to the king, and off you go. Sir King Salama. Salama. Salama, yeah. Listen, this is not jamboree. As I see my father do it, don't go and try it. You will die for nothing. This is not child's play. Hallelujah. Don't you think we are just, no, I'm not one of those ministers. I can't come and waste your time. God is too serious. Are you listening to me? Now lift your hands. Many of you do not know. Listen, please, now is the time to stand both for yourself. If you are a lady here, there is no reason why you should not be lifting your hands. marriage is a blessing it's not a curse as I, I as i talk as i talk because you see I, I see a sword of fire leaving my mouth i want to break certain demonic things many of you don't know what is stopping you and your loved ones for some of you is a role in your family many people have told you nothing just just hope one day no we don't do that nonsense in this place now faith is lift your hands hallelujah listen the moment we shout the name jesus some of you listen you will testify 
whatever is happening to you here will locate all your loved ones around listen the reason is because there are ordinances of darkness that are keeping some of you your parents took you to places in the name of protection and that devil will not let you go the lord instructed me to do this hallelujah if you are here or your loved ones there has been delay men come they go or maybe you have a child and you're thinking you will not marry that devil is a liar this night are you listening to me so don't just stand for yourself alone don't say it does not concern me don't be foolish hallelujah are you ready now you will see the demonstration of the power of the spirit Kai, because see i'm seeing blood i'm seeing blood dripping on the ground let me tell you what this means there are covenants and ordinances this is what the lord is showing me but my bible says the blood of jesus speaketh better things better things at the shout of the name jesus the demons responsible for any marital delay god you said if i speak it you will do it right now at the count of three it will hit some of you in a mighty way inside and outside lord let nobody be spared one two three Shall bring them out. Break, 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 the yoke be broken, the yoke be broken, the yoke, I release you, I release you, I release you, I release you. of marriage over your family tonight be free be free be free don't don't take at her don't take at her time to get married hey bring them out don't wait till you come out the power of god is setting you free where you are yes 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 ordinances i'm seeing altars on fire altars on fire altars on fire altars on fire i set them if i be a servant of god right now i set every demonic altar on fire It will burn tonight. Hopro to koto, reke to koto pre, so pre to hopro, sheke pre kate, hopro skote, reke te pre, sheke te, altas, altas. I release you. I release your family. I release you inside and outside. I release you. I release you into your marital destiny. The curse is lifted. I release your sisters. I release your brothers. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. I release you. I release you. I release you. Just receive, I release you. I release you.
Aleluya. Aleluya. Listen. Listen. I got a text from someone. I mean, they brought someone who was sick. Who was that person? I can't remember now. A sick person. No, they sent, I remember they sent me a text that they would bring the sick person. Please save our time for God's sake. We're still going to minister to the sick. Hallelujah. Let that lady go free. Now devil. Let her go free now. Let her go free. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Let her go free right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Everybody say I receive. Yes, it's happening to you. Now, please listen. I want to pray for terminal diseases terminal diseases all kinds of terminal diseases please you brought someone or you came here with a terminal disease come out quickly terminal only terminal diseases please let's save time can we do that god is locating people there are some of you god god is already terminal diseases please come out quickly 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 i beg you if you can run run save time please please as you come out here say lord it comes i hope you know what terminal diseases are healing rain healing cry rain unto god where that sickness I'm bye bye afraid. because it's going forever i'm not afraid healing rain. of you because of time listen can you just hold your hands together if you can I'll just minister to you at once please if you came here believing God then know that it will end hallelujah there is an angel standing here and there is an angel of the Lord standing here please listen when we begin to minister to the sick if we call a case and you came with the person please make sure you come especially if the person cannot speak English for our mothers so that we can hurry up okay the power of God will come upon some of you but it really doesn't matter that devil is going right now the spirit is called the spirit of infirmity hallelujah after a country you will say i am healed when that happens it's like electricity it will pass with power all around this place are you ready now one two three Go, go, go! 
go. Coming out is his go. 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 By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Go. 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 Come back with testimonies. Come back with the testimony. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come back with the testimony. 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 Come back with your testimony. I speak to you, all of you. Come back with your testimony. Come back with your testimony. Hallelujah. Say, I'm healed. Go back to your seats. You can check yourselves. Please make sure you check yourself. Go to the hospital if you need. I know someone with HIV was healed. Anyone who has been, anyone with any CG, see the power of God is, is breaking from inside. Some of you are outside here. You are not receiving. People inside are receiving and they are leaving you. Listen. Anyone with any academic issue that Senate has refused to answer between now and the next 14 days, I command them to answer. Anyone who is at the verge of probation, listen, anyone at the verge of probation, I pick you from where you are and I bring you back as a student in this school. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to pray for you. Any course you did not fail, listen. See, believe, oh, any course you did not fail, but you went to the board and you saw F, I change it. I said, I change it. Man, to kapala kuzita. I change it, Kato Pratishi. I change it. Hallelujah. Any man, I don't care who, who is molesting and oppressing people in every in any department or any faculty, whether supervisor or whoever, I instruct them to begin to favor you now. Hallelujah. Now listen carefully. Those inside, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm standing out because I want those outside to appreciate this meeting. Now I'm going to pray for you. Some of you, I'm seeing chains on the heads of... We are dealing with academic issues now. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to lift your hands. Many of you will feel like fire burning your head. If that... Wait. I'm going to count three. When that happens to you, Listen, this one will affect a lot of people. There are some of you that are first class materials. But because of this wicked thing, you were excellent in secondary school. It's not that you are bad. Let me tell you, those days will be restored. Because listen, listen, listen. I'm going to pray for you. Hallelujah. When I count three, inside and outside, with all your heart, shout, I receive. For some of you, that will be the last thing you will remember. Something will happen to you that will change your life. Are you ready now? Please, with all faith. One, two, three. Receive it now. Receive it. Take it. I restore you. Take it. 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 Inside. Inside. Take. Receive it inside. Receive it inside. Outside. Receive it. Receive it inside. Take it inside. Take it inside. At the back, inside. The angel of the Lord is touching people. At the back, outside, here. 
at the back. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Many of you will go back now and your academics will surprise you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Now listen. 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 I want all of you to think about a cause that has been troubling you because I'm about to make it to bow now. Just listen, listen. I'm working as God is just just think of it in your mind just once and bring it under the lordship of Christ because I'm about to open I'm about to tell it to open up for you. Are you ready? It's already happening to this sister. Now listen. Every department, every faculty in Amadubello University, that course that is threatening you right now when I shall bow, many of you feel as if your head will open up. Are you ready now? In the name of Jesus, bow! 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 In the name of Jesus, bow! Bow! In faculty of medicine, bow! Faculty of engineering, bow! Environmental design, bow! Education, bow! My God. Social sciences, bow! Sciences, bow! All the faculties in Congo, bow! Every other faculty, bow! Anyone with a missing script, problem of missing script, I stand tonight under this unction and I command wherever your paper is, where except you didn't write that exam, wherever your paper is, just as the donkey of Kish was found, I command that paper to be found now. <laughs> Hallelujah. For all those whose assessments have been bad, listen, for this exam, for all those whose assessment have been bad, have been, uh, are bad, in the name of Jesus, I release makeup test, makeup assignment in the name of Jesus. May the Lord touch the hearts of the lecturers, no matter how hard they are. Hallelujah. All of you shout, I will excel. Say it one more time, I will excel. Say, excellence is my portion. Say, I refuse failure. Say, I refuse failure. I take you from past, from third class, I take you into some of you are, are trusting let me tell you any class you need to step up i step you up right now yeah. i know some of you are doubting do not doubt the creative power of god's word it created the heavens and earth i said i step you up. jesus yeah. hallelujah hallelujah for all those whether you or your loved one, they've been writing jam after jam, wayek after wayek. You are looking for papers, it has refused to come. If God be God, if there is a God in this place, listen, those of you who are about to, whether jam, whether DE, you have papers that you need to make up. I stand as a servant of God. I give you the paper you are looking for. Those writing jam, I prophesy, write your last jam in the name of Jesus. Those writing whether wayek or whatever to make up. And there are some of you who are about graduating, but the papers you have are causing trouble. And right now you already have a problem at the Senate. Mercy, 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 you must graduate. You must graduate. 
Let something be done in your life that has not been done in this school. God is visiting people. Thank you, Jesus. God is opening people's files, I tell you. God is visiting people. Don't stand there doubting. God will bless others and leave you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything called mental blockage or exam fever, all this nonsense that comes on people, you will read and even do tutorial for others. In the name of Jesus. That spirit that makes you to forget things in the exam hall that you will only remember after you finish right right now i cast that spirit in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus you cannot read like a slave i forbid you from reading like a slave in the mighty name of jesus I tell you, God is visiting people in a mighty way this night. God is visiting people in a mighty way. Hallelujah. In your academics, I don't care how bad it has been. I don't care what has happened from today. Step into that, that dream you saw that your, your results has never looked like it. You have been seeing it. Enter the reality of it. Many of you have dreams. You see four points, but you write exam and see one point. I curse that devil in the name of Jesus. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I tell you, God is visiting people. Hallelujah. Now, please, everybody who is sick. You came here with any kind of disease. I'm about to rebuke it right now, please. We don't have time. Our time is fast spent. But God is going to visit inside. Are you still with me? Are you still with me inside? Now, those outside here, I want, I want to pray. Everybody lay your hands anywhere is hurting. If it's a part of your body, you cannot lay your hands on, lay your, hands on your chest. Whether fibroids, whether growths, whether cancer, whether blindness, whether deafness, whether lameness, whatever it is, I don't care. If it followed you here, it made a mistake because it's going to leave you right now. Are you listening to me? Some of you, what you call sickness is actually oppression. Because I see that there are many ladies with all kinds of sicknesses. People think you are careless, you are not. That devil will leave you. Hallelujah. Some of you have HIV. It's not like you slept around. You too, you don't know how it came. Some of you have all kinds of cancerous growths. There are people they've told you you, you cannot. I, I, after I finish this, I'm going to specially pray for barren people. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, listen. All of you inside, lift your hands. Lift your hands for that healing. I'm going to count three and the power of God will begin to come on sick people. Just those inside. Those inside. Hallelujah. The angels of God are moving inside. I see them. At the count of three inside. I tell you many sicknesses will disappear right now. The moment I count three, just take that hand and lay it where it's hurting. And start receiving your miracle. Are you ready? One, two, three. Receive right now. Take it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Now lay your hands there. Receive your healing right now. Receive your healing right now. Many of you are feeling like electricity. It's the healing anointing of the Holy Spirit. It's going through you. Begin to do what you couldn't do before. Those outside now, lay your hands there. Are you ready to receive? That devil will not follow you. Now in the name of Jesus, those outside here, receive. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Growths disappear. Terminal diseases go. Asthma go. Asthma, go. Every deaf ear be open now. Every blind eyes be open. If your hair and one leg is shorter than the other, let the other one grow out now to equal sizes. In the name of Jesus. 
Mande kalakosi tabaradian. Every lady problem, every woman problem, mande kagokoto rekatabari kete balatakai. Irregular menstruation ends now. 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 Shita kata balakata. The fire of God is burning. I tell you, the fire of God is burning. Every lump in the breast disappears now. Disappears now. Disappears now. Every growth in any part of your body, every growth, I cause that growth to its root right now in the name of Jesus. I cause that growth to its root right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Any pain in any area of your body, I rebuke it. Any trace of mental disorder, whether for you or for your loved ones, wherever they are, and if you are here, let the power of God touch you now. Let the fire of God touch you now. Let the fire of God touch you now. Shake it, kapa. Reke teko to 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 baka. Ziko to yapata. Zekete, let them go, let them go. Out, 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 out. Every kind of mental problem, whether it has manifested or not, out, 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 out. Go, go. Every curse, every covenant. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, any woman here or your sister or you who has been barren, please connect. Now is the time. We want to release miracle children right now. I don't know whether they have been barren for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. The Bible says, and God opened the womb of Anna. Listen, I want you to stand. You are a lady here. You lived a promiscuous life. And then you found out that, okay, some things happened maybe you lost your womb or something god is about to give you a new one right now i don't care what the problem is hallelujah praise god i want to cause barrenness and impotency low sperm count all this demonic infertility whatever i don't care if it has a name is going to answer this night are you ready everybody inside make sure you are with me hallelujah praise the lord whether for you or for your loved ones, right now, my Father, in the name that is above all names, lift your hands. I pray. There are some of you, listen, some of you do not know that there are already projections of barrenness on you. It's just that you have not married yet. So don't say until you are married. The devil is wicked. God brought you to set you free. You'll be surprised. Hallelujah. Inside and outside, you're going to shout Jesus. And God is going to visit some people. There are some of you, God will visit you not for you, but on behalf of other family members. And I tell you, you will see people take in. Are you listening to me? Do you believe this? At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus and you'll see what will happen. Are you ready? Thank you, Holy Ghost. At the count of three, let your power move across inside and outside. Are you ready? This will happen to many people because there is the curse of barrenness. And standing for anybody at the count of three, shout it with all your heart. Are you ready? One. Two, three. Take it, take it, take it, take it. 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 Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go. Inside. Inside. Fire. Fire is falling inside. Outside. Fire is falling. The curse of barrenness. Tokoto peketa. For your loved ones. Every barren woman, receive children, receive children, receive children. Any impotency, whatever it is, low sperm count, infertility, whatever it is in the name of Jesus, I curse it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Please stay with me.
Hallelujah. I want to pray and prophesy. We want to talk on the issue of finances right now. Everybody stand up and take this very seriously. We apologize for the lightning. I believe that maybe some hitches here and there. We'll soon round up. Hallelujah. While this is happening, please let's have all the prayer requests outside here. Look at me. See, listen, look up. The secret of financial blessing is in your giving life. Are you listening to me? I don't care what you are doing. The secret, if you are not a giver, whatever you are seeing now is only a deceit. It won't last. Are you listening to me? I want to minister to you. How many of you know that God is not glorified in anybody's poverty? How many of you are tired of the situation of some of your family members? You know, you know what? I'm, some of your parents, one job here, two months, they've driven them away. This is a curse. The problem is that pastors like sugarcoating things. They just say, oh, it's well. There is a difference between faith and foolishness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, I want to challenge you. Everybody, please hold a seat. Bring out a seat. You know us in this place. If you don't believe, don't bring it out. I want to break the curse of poverty. Don't you think, please, I, I, if you have something, share with your neighbor. Please, please, please. Bring out a seat. Don't murmur and grumble. Just keep your seat back, please. We are a blessed people. We are a blessed people. Look at me, look at me, sister. Look at me. Tell her to look at me. Look at me. Just tell her to look at me. Don't worry. Leave her. Look at me. Come out of her, devil of darkness. Ah, leave you alone. Praise God. See, while I was praying for this meeting, I saw this. Please listen. I saw a particular family. This is a revelation that the Lord showed me. And I saw them around the river. Hallelujah. Around the river with 500 naira. I don't know. I'm not going to mention them so that you don't think maybe I'm talking about a church or a ministry. We don't do that. But I saw some people seeming men of God or whatever around that they were trying to do something about financial prosperity. You see that? They killed chicken. They killed one other animal. I think goat or something. And they were invoking things on the person. And the Lord said, save this family. I saw it in the vision that the Lord showed me. There is nothing we will do here that God did not instruct. Hallelujah. Please, if you do not have a revelation of this, keep your money. You won't go to hell. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bring out something and connect it. I want to pray for you. You will lift it up. Hallelujah. Inside and outside, just lift it up. Okay, people are oppressed. Ah, people are oppressed. Listen, just lift it. Many of you, the fire will fall on you and your sacrifice. It will fall on you. See, it's poverty I want to attack. It's a spirit. Don't be mistaken about it. It's already happening to people. Everybody lift it. Please make sure there is a seed. It will be your contact. Clash the symbol for me, please. At the clash of the symbol. Ah. Are you ready now? My father, I pray. It's your desire to prosper us. People have suffered. Families have suffered. Right now, spirit of poverty. Go. 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 Keep the offering up. Go. Go, 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 go. For your family, I bought that spirit of poverty. It's a curse. Leave God's people. Poverty causes laziness. Poverty causes lack of failure. Lift your seed. It's your sacrifice. My God and my King. If God be God, I pray poverty be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken.
Shokete keta reko topo kuchupaka. So protoko to reke teke te reko to preke teka. Jobless. Go 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 go. Hallelujah. To me, my people made a covenant with me by sacrifice I command doors of uncommon unusual inexplainable financial prosperity let it be open now for you and for your family that joblessness ends now God is visiting families. God is visiting families. Any contract that has been revoked right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, I return it back to your loved ones. The curse of poverty be broken. Don't say I'm a student. Become rich in the name of Jesus. Become rich, blessed, wealthy. I program your spirit as surely as the Lord lives. God is visiting people. Twenty-one angels standing in this place i don't know what i'm seeing i'm seeing it, the whole of this place the whole of this place lift your hands because god is about to visit you some of you it's not just financial issues god will join everything and visit you as soon as i shout receive it right from here down to this row this is what god is showing me the power of god will come in a strong way lift your hands all of you in the name of Jesus, at the count of two, just two, the wind will blow. One, two, let it blow right now. Take it. 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 Don't wait till you fall. This has nothing to do with falling. It has nothing to do with falling. Receive by faith. Hallelujah. The Lord is visiting people. I don't know what the case is, but when I touch you, just know God is visiting you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The angels of the Lord are pointing people to me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Aha. Now, out of her. Come out. Come out of her. Shekotopa, your time is up. You are a spirit. Out, out now. Pain go. Come out. Supokotopekata likata. Don't break tons ke banda kriata. Lord, visit them. Ushers, help me visit them. Please help them, help them, ushers, so that they don't fall down one another. Visit them. Visit them. Zidaba. God is visiting your mother right from the States. Oh, no, in UK. God is visiting her right now. Hallelujah. Madam, God is about to locate you. Stand up, please. Stand up. Your time of breakthroughs come come and stand here please i don't know you but look at me three things the lord is going to do for you number one god is going to change your financial story in a way that will surprise you number two who is sick somebody is seriously sick in your family it's my husband i have it's your husband because this is what i'm seeing this is what is sugar sugar yes yes what is sugar what is sugar i'm hearing sugar diabetes diabetes yes do, do I know him? Have I met your husband? 
I'm hearing sugar. The Holy Spirit is telling me sugar. Diabetes. Is that correct? I'm going. I'm BP. BP. I'm BP. Look at me. The third thing God is going to do. Uh, are you building? Are you building? Madam, look at me. Yes. Are you? Yes. The Lord is saying that building will be completed. Yes. These three things. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Because you have lifted this seed. Many of you. See. Father, visit her right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Visit families by the power of the Holy Ghost. Visit families in the name of Jesus. See, I tell you, I'm not going to touch everybody. But if I do touch you, just know that God has visited you. It doesn't matter what the situation is. It will bow to the name of Jesus Christ. Bring his sister for me, this one. Yes, come. Did I lay hands on you? It's time for God to visit you. Are you listening to me? Take it. It's over. Whatever it is, it's over. Right now. This fair lady, come, please. I don't know what is it. Come. Don't see. You people should not be angry at God. God, it, I must not touch you. Do you understand? You can see that we don't have all of the time. Eh? Look at me. I'm going to end a lot of things in your life. Seven things in total. One by one, God is going to show you. Five of them. You wrote, you wrote seven prayer points. Yes, sir. How many prayer points? Did you? Seven. The Lord says seven things is visiting you and is bringing on. Was I there when you wrote it? Seven things you wrote. Seven things the Lord is visiting them. Lord, that is it. It ends right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Seven things the Lord is visiting you. Somebody wrote 13 prayer points. 13. 13, 13, you wrote 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 13. Who is that? Come, you are the one. Come. Was I there when you were writing it? 13 prayer points. 13 prayer points. What did you write about your father? My family. Yes. Peace in my family. Peace in your family. There is fight. Was I there when you wrote it? What did you write about the issue of money? Last week when I went home, my sister was complaining that yes. Because I'm seeing the Lord is showing me your prayer points. That's why I'm reading it to you. Was I there? There's no money. You went home. Even transport to come back. Follow somebody. Somebody gave me a lift. This is, I, I, God said I should do it to prove to you that this is not just guesswork. My God, in the name of Jesus, locate this lady. Your situation ends once and for all. Regina. 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 Who is Regina? Regina, ah, no Regina, don't miss your miracle. You are Regina, you. Ah. No, this Regina is here. Oh. Your name is Regina. Where's your mother? She's in Lagos. What's wrong with her? I don't know. Ah. Pray for your mother, oh. huh? Because this is an attack I'm seeing on her, huh? This is an attack I'm seeing on her. Be careful. Don't let any lecturer talk stories and ask you to come and visit him in the night. Does it make sense to you? Yes, sir. Does it make sense to you? Believe it. Huh? And then get into God with all your heart. Are you listening to me? I want to pray for you. This lackadaisical Christian attitude become a genuine Christian right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Grace to pray. Grace. Taiwo. God is visiting your mother. Just look at me. God is visiting your mother. Lord, visit her in the name of Jesus Christ. Right from here. Just as a point of contact, God is touching her in Lagos. Visit her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Visit her. This, this girl, eh? Bring this lady crying. Lord, end this captivity in the name of Jesus. This lady's family do a lot of diabolic things. Are you listening to me? And they have put, they have put things in this girl as a medium. This girl you are seeing, she's not the person you are seeing standing here. 
Hmm? This girl is very old. She's not as young as you are seeing. As in, I mean in the spirit realm. I'm seeing somebody that is up to 800 years old. Hallelujah. Are you see, look at look at this. Bring her. This is what is wrong. They, they invoke spirits of ancestors into this girl. Come and stand here. Because they did it in such a way. Listen. They did it in such a way. And this is the invocation. That no matter how much you are a man of God, you will not see it. This is what they did. Look at. I've seen it. I'm seeing it in the spirit. Look at. This is why this cry is happening. They, they programmed it. I don't know how it is. Many men of God have attended to this lady. They didn't see it. I don't know why. Because as I'm standing now, I'm seeing a tree. This is a tree I'm seeing. A very tall tree. Keep quiet. This lady, you see, she doesn't even know if this lady gets angry, she can beat even five guys put together. I listen to me. She, 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 I mean, beat you and put you on the ground that you will cry. Even her, right from a small age, she has been seeing this strange power. This is not normal. I need to rebuke that. Some of you are like that. You just think it's your family. You beat all your classmates in nursery school. Beat all your classmates. In, you are happy about it. Hallelujah. I have to set this girl free. I'm seeing rings on her legs, rings on her hands, huh? ring on her eyes, even on her eyes here. Yeah. What kind of nonsense is this rubbish thing? Hmm? Keep quiet. This noisy spirit. You will go out now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hmm? Keep quiet. Keep quiet. Huh? Two of us won't be talking. You are going to leave. There is a legal access that is given to you. But the Bible says the captives of the mighty shall be delivered. And listen, leave her. Please leave her. Don't hold her. Look at me. Listen. Behave yourself right now. I'm going to rebuke this some it will create a ripple effect on all our family members because they mentioned their names as they were killing chicken this is what i'm seeing one by one they will mention their names and kill chicken leave her leave her leave her leave her come back just leave her she will come back by herself this thing is more than 800 years this is what i'm telling you am i wasting your time Am I wasting your time? Leave her, leave her. When she's done, she'll come and stand here. These are demonic things. Don't be distracted by all this drama. Let's concentrate on what God is doing, please. Mama, come. Come and stand here. Your time of visitation has come. I don't know what you came here for. Eh? Your time of what did you come here for? You are barren. Is that? Yes, sir. You are barren. How many years? 13 years. I'm seeing one and three. Mm -hmm. How many years? 13 years. 13 years. You have been barren. Your, your, your situation has come to an end. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm. Lay your hands on your stomach. What did the doctors tell you is in your stomach? Nothing. They will do scan, nothing. But you are feeling movement in your body. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. In the night when you are sleeping, it will be as if a man wants to sleep with you. Yes, sir. A man comes to sleep yes, and it has even affected your relationship. Yes, sir. Eh? You don't even have affection for him. Yes, yes. Do you know me? No. Have you ever seen me? No. Your time of freedom has come this night. Because this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a stone, a stone inside your stomach. You used to have pain when you sleep. Sharp pain. This is a stone I'm seeing. Hmm? This thing is a demonic thing. 
Lay your hands. I open this womb right now. Let the womb take in by the power of... Take it right now. Alright, it's time for you to go. Now, in the name of Jesus, I challenge you, come and stand here. There's no time. See, demons can distract. If you waste time on them, they are going to distract you. Are you listening to me? All these things are distractions. Learn this. This is not just a place to receive. It's a place to learn. Many people focus. I'm not against all of but it's not necessary. We don't have all of this time. Are you listening to me? Come and stand here. Quickly come and stand here. It was finance, right? Okay. Let God solve somebody's problem right now. Listen. I release you into financial blessings. 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 Hallelujah. Pastor Jakes is going to come. Bishop Stan is going to come. They are going to speak prophecies into you. Hallelujah. I wish we had time. But as they speak, please receive. Hallelujah. They will speak and while I go up there. When they are done, we'll come and pray on your request. Can you wait a few more minutes? Can you wait a few minutes? Pastor Jackson. Okay. Please, ushers, just cast your offering. Cast your offering quickly. Ushers, all over. If there are no ushers, just be patient. Inside and outside. Please make sure you drop your money to only ushers. Hallelujah. Please lift up your hands. There's no time. Joining hands with Bishop and as we pray, whatever you desire, okay? Whatever giftings you've been trusting God to unlock in your life, whatever dimension of God you've been trusting God to push you into, as we pray corporately, the presence of God and the oil of God will be poured upon you in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you in Jesus' name. I give you praise in the name of Jesus. Even as you have declared through your servant, Lord, as we cast this seed, may it be an end to poverty and financial hardship in the name of Jesus. You cause doors to be opened for every family represented here in Jesus' name. We stand in agreement and rebuke devourer in the name of Jesus. Devourers in form of sickness, in form of accident, we rebuke you in Jesus' name. We set everyone free. Enter into your financial liberty in the name of Jesus. Marital liberty in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me invite the ministers as we pray on the request. If you've not written your request, please write it here quickly. I want to... After this, I'm going to be inviting Uneku and his wife who are going to be dedicating and praying for their child. Hallelujah. And any other woman with child here, you're going to come out with your child. We're going to pray and speak protection after I do that very quickly. Hallelujah. Please. Very quickly. Stretch your hands while you are seated. You don't need to stand up. Stretch your hands as we pray on this request. Go ahead and pray. Father, we pray that you visit your people. Visit your people, oh God. Visit your people. Visit your people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, visit families. In the name of Jesus. Grant every spiritual blessing that your people are asking for. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. 
We pray that every prayer point here, Lord, is answered in the name of Jesus. We release the angels of God to bring answers and solutions to needs in the name of Jesus. Let breakthroughs come, academic blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for businesses. We ask that prayer points here about businesses, that the Lord will open up doors in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask for healing. We release the healing of God upon your lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We bring salvation into your family. The Lord visits your family in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord blesses you with peace joy in the name of jesus christ of nazareth refreshing comes from the presence of the lord refreshing comes from the presence of the lord in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every closed gate is open in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every dark cloud is rolled away in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father we thank you we give you praise we celebrate you in our lives in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah put your hands together for the lord Hallelujah. Please quickly, quickly, quickly. All the children, quickly, quickly. Please save time. We just have about five minutes or so and we're out of. Celebrate them as they come if you know God will give you children. Please come and line up here quickly, quickly. Great are you, Lord. Greatly to be praised. All the earth will sing. Father, you reign. Great are you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, let me pray. Please, Uneku, come up with your wife. How many of you remember them? Worship team. Come on, celebrate your own. Technical, celebrate your own too. See, they are all seated together. Is that where they met? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody stretch your hands towards them. This baby is a miracle baby. I tell you. I was there in the hospital. I didn't even know the baby was on the bed. I said, where is the baby? Hallelujah. Stretch your hands and pray. Rebuke the hand of Satan. Do it as though you are praying for your own child. Rebuke the hands of Satan. This baby is blessed. Growing normally. Daddy and mommy are healthy. In the name of Jesus. We dedicate this child in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. This child will grow in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and with men. We command this child to be an ambassador. We program his destiny to glorify Christ alone. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray for peace in this house. This will only be the first child and not the only child. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pastor Jakes and Bishop Stan, can I invite you just to come and lay hands on these children? Hallelujah. As we lay hands, all three of us will lay hands. You just lay hands. I'll come back and lay hands on them. As we lay hands on the children, we rebuke the hands of Satan. We rebuke the hands of Satan. No, let me lay hands on them before they go. We are, we are doing it, all of us. Please. Very quickly. These are instructions that God is giving. We are not just doing these things carelessly. Any child, any one child that has anything that is not of God, we cancel it right now. We cancel it right now. Eh? In the name of the Lord Jesus, may the Lord visit this child. Let his hearing be perfected. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. See how wicked Satan can be. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. These children are blessed. Where is he? Bring him. The boy ran away. Because this boy wants to kill himself. It's the spirit that wants to kill him. Where is he? I tell him to stand, but he went. You see what I told you, spirits? He ran away to where? Wherever he is right now, in the name that is above all names, may the Lord visit him. You will go back and you will come and testify. Hmm? I'm seeing the fire of God on him. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord visits him. You are standing on his behalf. In Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you.
May the Lord bless you. Uh -uh. Come out of this girl, devil of darkness. May the Lord bless you. Madam, God is really visiting your family. May the Lord... Uh, you came out for yourself or for your child. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I prophesy upon your life. Please stand up, everybody. Be rounding up now. Every closed door in the name that is above all names, I open it right now. Every door of failure and disappointment in the mighty name of Jesus, let that door be open now. I pray right now. Any voice that is speaking against you and your destiny, I command those voices to be silenced right now. Whatever is stopping your spiritual development, whatever is stopping your passion for God, one leg in, one leg out, I pray, I release encounters to your life. Encounters with angels. Encounters of heaven. Visions and revelations. Dramatic encounters with Jesus Christ. I pray for the spirit of prayer. May it come upon you in a mighty way. Who is this? Oh, see the boy is back. Come. Look at me. How are you? The Lord will set you free. Eh? You love Jesus. Look at me, look at me. You love Jesus. Do you like what happens to your life? Huh? Are you tired of it? Look at me. Are you tired of it? Huh? You want to be free from it? Huh? Madam, it's not this boy that is doing these things. Are you listening to me? This is a suicidal spirit. Huh? This is demonic. Because this boy is destined to be great. Are you seeing? And this is why the devil wants to destroy him. Hmm? Look at me, my brother. Why did you go away? Okay. Does not even know why he left? Hallelujah. The mighty name of Jesus Christ, that devil of darkness. Your time in this boy's body is over. The fire of the Holy Ghost against you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm praying for you right now. Who is Bulus? It's his uncle. Bulus is his uncle. Do, you, do I know Bulus? Where is he? Hold my hands. Father, I pray that the wickedness of men will not catch up with this boy. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, my God and my King, I pray for a dramatic visitation. Look at me. Look at me. Go to church. Join a fellowship. Huh? These bad guys that are around you, they will destroy you. I cancel your appetite for them. They are, they, are trying to, they are trying to introduce you into wheat and all of this nonsense. You will not have appetite for any of these things. Mm? You will become an obedient and a respectful child. This hardened heart this night has been replaced with the heart of stone. Salvation comes to this family. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Rehila. Who is Rehila? Do you know anybody called Rehila? What is, I mean, well, I'm hearing the name Rehila. This is your daughter? Come. How are you, my dear? Hold my hands. See a mystery. I'm going to be praying for you. But is that your sister that is going, hold, hold on, don't tell me. I, I don't want you to tell me. Hmm? Don't tell me, don't worry. That's your sister, dear. I'm seeing light. It's leaving you and it's entering. I'm going to pray for you, but the prayer is going to affect her. Hold my hands. 
I set you free right now. I set you free right now. Lose, lose her from that chain. Be loose right now. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit. There is deliverance going on in your family right now. I don't know why this is happening, but God is bringing you from Jesus. Brother, look at me. Please be a gentleman. Okay? Be a gentleman. Love God. Be serious with your life. You are a healer. Okay. Well, you came out. Let me pray for you. The, the Lord is not giving me anything exactly. What do you want the Lord to do for you? Ah, you don't know. I'll just pray generally for you. Go. Is that okay? Lay your hands on your chest. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I command favor to your life. I command favor. Favor. Favor is one blessing that the Lord has given us here. I release it into your life right now. Whatever has been a challenge for you, may God speak it. Listen, when God speaks over your situation, that's all it ends. If you are here, I didn't call your case, but you came with an expectation right now in the name of Jesus. I pray for you. May the Lord visit you at that point of your need. Every habit here that is not of God, masturbation, pornography, all of these devilish things that are destroying people, I cast it out of your life forever. I cast it out of your life forever. It will not return again. I cast it out. I cast it out of your life. Every form of immorality that stops you from entering the dimension God wants to take you, I release grace upon you to walk in genuine holiness and purity. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for your parents and your loved ones. As God visits you here, may he visit them. As God visits you here, may he visit them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, as we step into the seventh month, may it be a time of perfection for you. May it be a time of perfection for you. May it be a time of perfection for you. What you have not accomplished from January to June, accomplish it in July. I command promotion. I command promotion. All of you in ministry, I pray that you will see a greater anointing in your ministries. I release greater fire in your fellowships, in your churches, in your ministries. Let devils be casted out. Let the sick be healed. Let sinners be saved in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command increase and expansion for ministries here in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All of you planning for marriage, I command whatever resource you need, I release it for you. Even if the man has not come, I bring him into your life. Even if the woman has not come, I bring her into your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, inside and outside, this is an opportunity for those who have never given their hearts to the Lord. Please stand up. Everybody keep standing, please. Hallelujah. The greatest miracle that can happen in this place is that you are translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God's dear son. You have seen the miracles and all of these things. But there are many of us that need to make a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And right now, as we begin to clap, I'll count one to five. Praise God inside and outside please give them space inside and outside i want you to come before the lord here you've never given your heart to the lord or you made a decision for jesus once you made a decision for jesus once but you found yourself derailing please come out and stand here in the name of jesus please leave your seat and come out 
appreciate them they are coming god bless you please rush rush run 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 don't be afraid god bless you as you come god bless you as you come don't be ashamed inside and outside god bless you as you come they are coming koinonia celebrate them outside make sure you don't stay back don't let any devil rob you of the greatest blessing keep coming keep coming young and old keep coming thank you jesus hallelujah keep coming hallelujah praise the lord now when i do this selena and my sister and their roommates please you come and stand i'll pray for you hallelujah all of you hallelujah now lift your hands those of you in front thank you so much for coming see after me lord jesus i love you i believe you died for me i believe you rose again for me i receive eternal life into my spirit i declare that i'm born again i'm saved jesus is lord of my life i denounce sin and satan from today the holy spirit lives in me i have eternal life and the gift of righteousness and i will reign in this life and i declare by the power of the holy spirit that i'll never be the same again my life is transformed i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.